It's Governor Ron DeSantis defending his decision to abide by a non-disclosure agreement that he signed with the FBI. It does not allow him to reveal what two counties in Florida were hacked by the Russians prior to the 2016 election. But he told CBS4's Ted Scouten he believes the information is overclassified. Ted's live for us tonight in Coral Gables to explain. Ted? Yeah, Elliot, the governor was here at the Biltmore on Coral Gables for an appearance at lunchtime. When we spoke to him today, he said had he not signed that, uh, that uh, non-disclosure agreement with the FBI, he too would have been left in the dark. I wish we could tell the counties. I'm happy to, to or tell the people. I don't think it necessarily should be classified. Governor Ron DeSantis addressing classified information he got from the FBI. He was told Russians hacked two county election offices, but no data was manipulated. He said he cannot divulge which counties were breached because he had to sign a non-disclosure agreement. My situation was if I didn't sign that, I wouldn't have gotten any briefing, and I would have known even less. You're the governor of the state, a believer in states' rights. How, how could you be bound by that? Be because they control classified information, and I did not... Under their rules, I did not warrant access to that. So by them giving it to me, I agreed to, to behave and in you, that way. He said he does not think the information should be classified. I personally think it's overclassified. Yeah, I mean, like, I think a lot of this stuff's overclassified. While the hack details are new to the governor, he said some in Florida law enforcement were looped in earlier. The state didn't seem to know what it was. Now, the FBI has said that, um, that there were state actors, state agents on the task force that had access to this and should have known. I'm trying to figure out whether that's true or not. Joe Yuzinski is an associate professor of political science at the University of Miami. He believes before worrying about where this happened, the public should know if the results were accurate. Lots of people believe that elections are hacked anyway, whether it's by the Russians or by someone else. When people lose, they tend to think they were cheated. Um, this is only going to contribute to these feelings and a lot of people are going to blame their side's loss on Russian hacking, when in fact it may have had nothing to do with it. Now, the governor is not the only one who will be bound by the secrecy and the information about the hack. Tomorrow morning, Florida's congressional delegation in Washington, D.C. will get that same classified briefing by the FBI. We expect that afterwards they will not be able to reveal the names of those two counties either. Live in Coral Gables, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.